Hi, I'm Melissa Heron, an aviation writer for the Air Safety Institute. I am a CFII and I am currently renting a 172 or 152 out of my local airport, which is Torrance, and that's where I flew out of for this trip. This was back uh, in October when um, the pandemic con conditions weren't quite what they are now. And I just wanted to escape uh, from the local area, get out of the practice area, and go somewhere that I hadn't been for a while. So I left from Torrance and went uh, east to Palm Springs. That was my first stop. And that was a fun flight because I haven't done that in a while. And the weather was really good and the visibility was fantastic. The thing that I was concerned about for that leg of the flight was going through the Banning Pass because sometimes it can be super bumpy and super windy, but I got super lucky and there was no wind at all and it was super calm and it was super beautiful and just had a, a nice smooth flight right into Palm Springs and went into the FBO and uh, got my rental car and headed over to the Palm Springs Air Museum, which I had never been to before and it's definitely worth visiting. And it's a great, it's a great place to visit in these times because the, the hangars, they have four hangars and they're they're open and there's it's all outside so you don't have that concern of being confined and indoors. After that I headed into town and found a restaurant that at the time was open and had some outdoor seating which was fun and you know I really felt like I was on vacation and that I was able to do something that I hadn't done in a super long time. I, I loved that and then just went to the hotel and relaxed. So after Palm Springs the plan was to go to Borrego Valley which isn't too far away. I hadn't ever flown that leg before where you go past the Salton Sea and I'd never actually seen the Salton Sea from the air um, as close as I as close as I was that time. So that was that was quite a sight. And it was dead calm in Borrego, which was wild because again, that's a place where I I've experienced wind before and there was nobody else there. There was one other plane on the ramp and and me. And my favorite part about that stay was that that area is a, a, a dark sky area and they have a special place at this hotel where you can go sit and look at the stars. It was definitely something that I hadn't seen in a long time being that I live in a city. That was a great experience. And then the final leg was just coming back to Torrance and that was after I got started that was the only time on the trip where I had to worry about weather. Torrance is right next to the hills of Palos Verdes and there was this marine layer that was coming around PV and just hanging out over Torrance. And the rest of LA was perfectly VFR and clear. And thankfully I did get in right, right in time when the marine layer had lifted and landed. So definitely, if you're, if you're trying to do a trip like this, give yourself a time buffer, set yourself up for success. Don't have too many plans that can't be changed. But yeah, I, I highly recommend doing this kind of trip if you have the if you have the ability and the time and it was a great fun short trip and I got to do some great flying uh, during it too.